Oh, it's the end of the month, and you know what that means. Time for some hauls. Hey everybody, welcome to another exciting episode, another edition here at A Week in Geekdom. This time, haulage time. I don't know if I said that right. I don't really care. It's the part of the show uh, at the end of every month where I highlight all the geeky stuff I acquired. And as always, if you want to participate, you can write down below which of the following items you want me to review. I'm going to do manga, toys, Blu-rays, statues... A bunch of cool stuff now um, two warnings one I will not actually three I will not show a product that's over there and, and it's pretty big I'll tell you what it is it is the uh, blizzard uh, tracer 12 inch statue thingamajig it's beautiful it's amazing I will do a separate video on it and it the box is way too big I didn't want to bring it over all the way over here and I'm getting messages on my phone because uh, this is an impromptu episode. We had some really cool solicitations for DC books that nobody was expecting. Well, actually, some of you were, and others are a complete mystery. I am royally pissed off because of these solicitations. Now, I will go over them before I do the whole uh, haul, so if you want to skip ahead, uh, I don't blame you. Uh, in news that surprised everybody... The atrocious, I'm sorry, I did not like it. I bought it, I read it, and I decided it was not worth it. The horrible Red Hood and the Outlaws New 52 run from Scott Lobdell is getting an omnibus. Okay, you're going to leave out a League founding member like Aquaman without any oversized hardcovers or opnies or absolutes. Whatever. Okay. Next, you also have Deathstroke from Tony Daniel, New 52, which was pretty bad, in my honest opinion. I'm sorry, there, was, there, there, were, there are better runs out there. If you want to read a good Red Hood story, read the current Rebirth stuff, which is not that bad. And if you want to read a good Deathstroke uh, story, go with the Christopher Priest run from Rebirth. That is excellent, and it's Eisner nominated. Just... Oh, man. Anyways, uh, the Tony Daniel U52 era is also getting an omnibus. Before such an important character, or actually one of my favorite characters overall, Aquaman, is getting no love, and he's only gotten uh, just trades. The only oversized hardcover is Atlantis Chronicles, which I reviewed on this channel. The rest is just regular small hardcovers for the New 52 run, and uh, just trades for New 52. The uh, Peter David uh, Aquaman run, 80s stuff, and uh, what else am I missing? The Rebirth, and a few showcase uh, big fat trades that are black and white or something. Really, uh, I'm so disappointed in you, DC. My favorite DC superhero getting, uh, getting thrown under the bus. But uh, in good news, we are getting uh, an absolute swamp thing from Alan Moore. And uh, I, I, I'm, I'm excited. I've, I've only read a few issues from the Alan Moore run. I don't have everything, so this is the perfect opportunity to collect the absolutes. It's going to be three absolutes because it was collected in six trades. So uh, the first absolute should be coming this fall, and it will have um, from issues 20 to 34. And if you're wondering, uh, the first 19 issues are in the swamp thing on me from the bronze age so you collect that bunch and then you proceed into the uh, alamore absolute editions now before you start complaining that there are no that you wanted an omnibus um, listen uh, absolutes are amazing they're like the premium format in my opinion and yeah an omni is pretty cool and that's what we've always wanted for this spectacular uh, genre defying run but if you buy the absolutes, you'll be sending DC a message that they should print out the Omnis. Because I asked my fellow Omni Bros, and yes, they concurred. Uh, 
Planetary, Sandman, and a bunch of other runs came out first in Absolutes, and they sold pretty damn well, so they printed out Omni. So if you wanted Omni, please support the Absolute run. Otherwise, it might just get cancelled halfway and we'll never get it finished. But yeah, Absolute Swamp Thing by Alan Moore, Volume 1. That is awesome. Some other uh, random stuff. Uh, we're going to get a DC Essentials line, which is basically like Marvel's Epic collection. Uh, this, these uh, big, fat, juicy trades uh, with complete runs or stories, whatever you want to call them. And that includes uh, Flash from Manipool and Bouchalato. Uh, I believe Scott Snyder's uh, Court of Owls. Uh, you're also gonna get something. Oh, uh, Justice League uh, Dark Side War, and a whole bunch of. Uh, and I'm jumping around. Uh, Rebirth Deluxe Editions Volume Two from Wonder Woman, uh, Detective Comics, Batman, that sort of thing. So that you know, it, it, in essence, is the solicitation news that everybody went crazy about uh, today, as of this uh, episode. Or actually yesterday, I, whatever. Anyways, onto the hall, because this was like an extended opening. Yes, isn't that fun? It's like I'm bringing the news back into this channel. That is awesome. Anyways, halls. I am missing three orders. Three? Two? I don't know. I'm missing orders from February. So technically, none of the books I got from the month of February are here. So it's a very small, concise, but pretty badass haul. So don't you tell me otherwise. Uh, as always, if you want me to review anything, uh, just let me know down below, please. So, we're gonna start with manga. The first manga volume I got is Flying Witch. I love the anime, and uh, I didn't want to get the Blu-ray release for some reason, so I got the original manga instead. I reviewed the first volume of this, so I had to get the second one, The Ancient Magus Bride, Volume 2, one of my favorite shonen, My Hero Academia, Volume 11, To Your Eternity, Volume 1. Fragments of Horror from Junji Ito. This is probably one of my favorite works of Ito after Uzumaki. So yeah, that's the manga section. Let's move on to trades, soft cover trades. I had to do it. My man, Aquaman himself, Rebirth Volume 4 Underworld. And by the way, this is getting an oversized hardcover simply because uh, Sedgik is drawing it and all his art gets the oversized treatment. So it sucks because volumes one to uh, four are not gonna get oversized hardcovers, and then this one, blam! Come on, man, Just do it right. So finishing up the Inhumans uh, mar current Marvel run, if you will, with Royals Volume Two. Does this have a name? Judgment Day. <laughs> Judgment Day. Really cool stuff. You gotta check this out. Moving on to hardcovers, I did get out of uh, In Stock Trades um, Damage Sale, as they call it. For $14.99, a, how much is this? A $49.99 book. The only damage that I can spot, let's see. Can, can, can you see that? This little corner right here, how it's bent inward? That's it, and it was, it was still in its shrink wrap. So thank you, OCD uh, person that uh, wanted to return the uh, book. So I got it for 15 bucks. There you go. I've already read it, I just wanted to upgrade to hardcover. Also, the wavy, the, pa the wavy page edition of Vision, one of the best books I've read in a long while. I had to get this version because, you know, oversized. How could you not like oversized? And last but not least, an omnibus. This is Orion by Walter Simonson, continuing my fourth world extravaganza, and I will do a comprehensive video, sort of this documentary, on the uh, New Gods, but it's gonna take some time because it's a lot of material to go through and I wanna get it right for you guys. So it's gonna be talking about the fourth world, which I'm staring at off camera, and I'm gonna be mentioning this as well, as, uh, as well as some other books. So yeah, really looking forward to diving into this. Let's move on to, uh, what am I picking? Figures, let's do little figures, because I love pops, I'm a pop collector, and I went to, into a Walgreens and got Spider-Girl Anya Corazon. Anya Corazon is basically Aranya when she first debuted, and she's a uh, Neo Rican, and I'm Puerto Rican, so uh, uh, Spider-Man's my favorite character of all time. I just had to get it. Like, it's, it's that simple. Also, this guy, the original Moon Knight, 
Uh, I, whoa, look at that. Um, I, I do like the uh, Warren Ellis version and all that stuff, but this is cooler to me with the cape and all that stuff. I did get... I have the box, but it arrived extremely damaged, and this is my very first, which is a bummer, but this is my very first Funko Chase, uh, or Pop Chase, I should say, of Sepia Wonder Woman Bombshell Edition. I love this so much. I don't know if you can see it. It's, it is the Chase. See, sepia tone and all that stuff but the box for some reason come on amazon get your shit together boy action figures let's do an action figure haul because i got a wonderful package from a wonderful bro and it is my good friend josh josh thank you so much you did not have to do this and i remember saying bro you don't have to do this i will pay it i will pay you everything and uh no i got a little care package that i am forever thankful it truly means the world to me and, and and you know it i mean i am just blown away by the generosity and you are a spectacular human being i did get finally the marvel legends medusa walgreens exclusive i love me some inhumans they're my favorite uh marvel team aside from fantastic four spider-man characters i love the inhumans i also did get thanks to my friend josh the human torch and Sue Storm. So, Reed Richards got uh, is coming out in like a couple weeks. I, I, I don't really know how the Legends release schedule works out. There's a plane. And the thing got announced at New York Toy Fair 2018. So that's going to be awesome. I'm go finally going to have a really cool looking Fantastic Four uh, team. Now all we need is a freaking Galactus because the original is super expensive and I don't want to get it. I want a new sculpt and uh, oh there's also a, a, a uh, Silver Surfer Marvel Legends so I'm gonna have the whole cosmic setup. I have the Guardians somewhere and now the Fantastic Four now I just need to tie it all up together. I do have a Doctor Doom so yeah please Marvel, Hasbro, whatever just release a new Galactus. It doesn't have to be like super big but like bigger than uh, a six inch figure I, I don't care what size you choose just do it come on uh statues i talked about the tracer one and i did get boxes a little beat up but i did get me some bombshell love with star girl i love like she's not technically one of my favorite characters but i love this bombshell so much this is a great looking statue and one of my uh, comic book crushes i had to get the dc bombshell mira i got all of these for uh, for cheap, I think this was like half off, and Stargirl was even cheaper because it came with uh, an imperfection. So I took advantage of that. So yeah, I cannot wait to do a cool video on this. I hope you guys liked my Cheetah review. Uh, that was a, a, a ton of fun to make. Link it up as well. I was gonna end the video, and then I was already filming the outro, and I completely forgot about the Blu-ray segment because. I, I'm a douche. Uh, Blu-rays and uh, DVDs and stuff. Yay! I did get Justice League Action. This is seriously one of the best animated shows that uh, Warner Brothers and DC has ever done. It's short. It's 15 minutes per episode, but it is a ton of fun and great voice acting. Just, I love this so much. There are some really cool episodes in here. Uh, just, uh, how many episodes? 26 episodes in here. Please, if you see this, pick it up because I got it for like 10 bucks or something like that, $9.99 or something. Uh, you'll be supporting a good cause so they put out more DVDs, please. Uh, hopefully we get a Blu-ray release. Speaking of Blu-rays, I did get a uh, uh, Batman Gotham by Gaslight. I have not uh, seen this yet, but I've heard some mixed reviews. I, I mean, I already own uh, The Killing Joke, which, which was horrible, so by comparison, I don't, I don't mind. Uh, I don't know if I featured this on the previous haul, but I did get the Blu-ray of My Neighbor the Amadas. Finally, I have all the Studio Ghibli stuff on Blu-ray. Speaking of kissing your Blu-rays, this little baby arrived. One of my favorite anime, modern anime of all time. Yes, I love this series so much. And I hate, with an utter passion, I don't say this often, but I hate Aniplex and their stupid, bogus... United States release schedule and just overcharging for everything like $80 for like a single blu-ray stuff like that it's just insane 
I don't support this business model, so that's why I didn't, never picked it up. But the whole series, this whole thing was 160 something dollars, and I was able to get it for less than half off in uh, on eBay of all places. Somebody was letting it go, and I snatched it up because yeah, more than 50% off. Yes, please. Uh, so yeah. Uh, that is the only condition that I would get an Aniplex uh, Blu-ray from. Lower the price, I don't care if you strip away the special features, and, and, and a lot of people will buy your products, but it's just insane to me that you're going to charge like $100, $200 for a tiny amount of content where other companies just put out the same stuff for like 40 60 bucks or something like that. I don't know, whatever. What do you guys think of that? Do you uh, support Aniplex releases? Let me know. All right, for real this time. Uh, it's the end of the haul. As always, you can follow me on your favorite social media platform. Just type a week and geek them, and I am there for you. All right, I have got to go. I have got to uh, continue my journey into book reviewing and movies and all that stuff. And I will catch you on our next episode. Take it away. Oh, it's the end of the month, and you know what that means. Some haulage time. Ma what did I do with my mouth? <laughs>